Hello, grade ones. I am going to show you how to finish your groundhog writing. You will need a pencil, maybe an eraser, and the place that you did your um, groundhog art. So it should have been your writing journal. If you have to problem solve and do your groundhog art somewhere else, all you need to do is find your groundhog art. Okay? In class, we brainstormed a list of things to write about your groundhog. So here's our ideas. We're going to start our sentence with my groundhog. And here's the ideas our class came up with. Is a girl. Is a boy. Is upset. Is hibernating. My groundhog is hiding. Is doing a dance called the floss. Is mad. Is good at math is happy and digging, is crazy. Those are some ideas for you to help with your writing. You need to open up your journal to where you started your groundhog work. We already wrote, today is Wednesday, February 2nd. It is Groundhog Day. Now you are going to use this brainstormed list and you are going to write about your groundhog. So you are going to use your ideas, sound out your words, gum it if you don't know how to spell a word. That means guess it, underline it, and move on. And don't forget to try your best. Starting your writing right where we left off, we start with my groundhog. Is. And now I need to pick something about my groundhog that I want to write. I'm going to pick one of these. I'm going to say, is upset. I'm going to pretend that my groundhog saw his shadow, which means there is going to be more winter. So he is feeling upset. My groundhog his is, sorry, upset. Period. Now you're going to write another sentence. My groundhog. And I'm going to say, wants it to be spring. He doesn't want winter anymore. So my groundhog is upset. My groundhog wants it, don't forget those finger spaces, to B. Now, if you run out of room on this page, you can go over to here. So, uh, my groundhog wants it to be spring. Grade ones, your job is to write at least three sentences. I have done one, two. So I need to do at least one more. Now, if you're a strong writer, I want you to push yourself and do five sentences. So pick what you want. Are you learning to write? Maybe your stamina can only do three sentences. Or are you able to do five? Grade ones, do your best. I will take a picture of this so you can use this to help you. You can also get out your poetry. Your poetry has a poem about a groundhog. Maybe there's some words about your groundhog that you want to write in there. A last thing you can use is your alphabet chart. 
Use this to sound out your words. Guess it, underline it, and move on. Grade ones, good luck. I can't wait to hear all about your groundhogs.